Hello everyone, Reza here. We are going to continue with our XGen 101 in Maya. In this video, we are going to focus on how to create a haired pod using region map in Maya. All right, let's start with the mannequin that we created uh, in the very first session. If you don't know what session I'm talking about, click on the pop-up banner um, and hopefully that takes you to the very first video or you can use the playlist instead. But basically what I did, I created a very simple region map for this little guy and insert some manual guides. Uh, nothing too special, really. I didn't spend too much time on it, so it will show the workflow the way that I want, so I'm not too picky about it at this stage. Um, you may say, what, what am I talking about by saying hair part? Let me take you to a very useful site that I use for reference. It's called Haircut Inspiration. It provides you with enough reference. Remember, very similar to any other tasks in Maya, you do rely on references. You cannot make up as you go. Otherwise, well, you know what's going to happen. Things will fall apart. Now, if you look at the, um, the references uh, here, you can see that if I kind of scrub through, you can see some really interesting clumps happening, sort of a wet hair that we're seeing here, but that's the area that the hair part, or in this case, side part happens. So uh, side part haircut is actually quite um, popular. It used to be popular back then. It still is popular and a lot of celebrities kind of go for that particular hairstyle. So you can see Colin Firth, it's very, very well-groomed sort of wet um, hair that we're talking about. So you can actually see every single clump, uh, same here. Uh, but for some of them, it's not really as well defined. So for example, with Ray Reynolds, it's a, it's a little bit sort of um, less groomed, more of a casual situation. Same with this uh, George Clooney photo and Brad Pitt. So uh, this hair part is something that you just cannot create. So having that effect uh, requires a specific set of steps that I'm gonna walk you through. And hopefully by the end of that, uh, this allows you to customize the, the type of haircut you're going to go for. Uh, we are going to actually use that method in our kind of production part of our tutorial. So far, we're just exploring tools, how to do this, how to do that. But eventually, we're going to tie all them back into one big project and we are going to kind of repurpose the knowledge. Now, you may have noticed that I have only um, guides for one half because I thought I would just take the opportunity and show you another tool within this uh, particular uh, tutorial that we have, and that is how to mirror guides. And, and again, refer back to the very first tutorial that we had on how to prepare the scene. We always want that object to be sitting right at the center in x-axis simply because that allows me to now select all the guides and I'm going to use this tool right here to mirror selected guides across the x-axis. Simple as that. See how much time I saved for this particular using one button? So that again another advantage of preparing scene correctly it and allows you to speed up and expedite the workflow, if I may. All right, back to the subject. Now I have um, guides on the scalp, and I've assigned a region, and I've assigned a region map to it just in case, just to um, kind of have it more defined. If I click, obviously there is not much to it. The hair is still a little bit all over the place because we do not have modifiers, but. If I go and have a look right at the middle, I'm gonna turn off the extra preview, you do expect to see some parting happening here. But if I click and zoom in, you can see that is not the case, unfortunately. Some hairs are just gonna stand up, straight up. And the reason for that is uh, usually the hair that sits in the middle don't know where to go. So it, it kind of, the way that Maya calculates it is it 
averages out the distance between the two and the angle between the two and of course when you mirror from one side to another and from one location to another the distance is equal so what you get is a straight hair that kind of explains it so um, let's get to the actual workflow and see how we can create that now in order to create Parting, I'm just going to go into scrolling down in my primitive tab and get to the region control. That's the part that you need to tweak in order to get that effect. And that allows you to actually again paint ptex map on your region map attribute. The workflow is actually quite similar. We talked about this in our ptex map video. If you don't know what video I'm referring to um, just click on the pop-up banner and that takes you to that video I highly suggest you to kind of watch that to begin with before getting to this because we are not going to explain it again so I'm gonna go in here create a map and um, I'm just going to call this hair part underscore um, region map underscore care now uh, for map resolution I do want to start with a high resolution map because region map is one map you cannot tweak later so be very careful be mindful of it do not leave this as five which is the default otherwise what you get is going to be quite low quality so that changes the um, the map resolution for your ptex and then you can just pick one color whatever color you would like to draw um, I tend to start with with red I really don't mind what you get is red and then you get to change the color in here so the color that you use right now what I have is black doesn't make any sense because if you use black then you're actually removing the uh, whatever attribute you're using so you do not want to leave this as black I tend to use uh, the kind of top row let's um, hypothetically say I'm gonna use yellow here you can use whatever color it's not actually hypothetical I'm actually using yellow so um, I'm gonna go in here and I zoom in and I try to kind of pick this middle bit where I have the apartment happens now feel free to kind of zoom in and be a little bit more accurate with your painting uh, and again I highly suggest you to um, basically I'm just gonna go in here make sure uh, reflection which is the symmetry is off and make sure the stylus pressure is also off because I do not want to get any fall off and going to continue with uh, this I can go all the way down um, I noticed that I actually need more guides in here but that's uh, kind of we are going to do that later not going to be worried about it too much just going to continue with this map going to create that really quickly okay that's it remember we are going to save here and we are going to save here perfect now um, as soon as you save your map is saved inside the description but nothing is happening hmm that's surprising well not really because although you define the map you there is no mask attribute defined for it so what Maya thinks of this is all right so what you have a map but you don't want that to be taking place so all I need to do is just to set this one to one now uh, you can see for the most part it kind of did a great job but and actually that was one thing I wanted to show you and um, which is actually quite common and it does happen to students from time to time and this usually happens this area right here when you have guides too close to each other so what I suggest is see how this really Maya doesn't understand what should be done with this so what I usually do to fix this and this is really a quick fix is to select the move hold down control and just separate those a little 
I'm, although we didn't get any problem here, I'm probably going to do that for um, this one as well. So um, add or move guide tool holding down control so I can move the guide. I'm kind of doing the same thing here. Again, we didn't have any problem in here, but I'm still going to do it. I expected actually to get more um, problems, but surprisingly, it's actually doing a pretty good job. And that should do it. I'm going to do the same thing here. Oh, I inserted guides by accident. So I'm just going to select that. Usually when I do it, I uh, make the scalp template. So I'm not going to select the scalp every single time like I do right now. But you got the gist. Moving this one here. And that really should do it. If I click, there you have it. You can see that I'm getting a much better result. I'm going to turn off use primitive in the view, only primitive in the view, so I get to see everything. And you can even go ahead and sort of hide the scalp for now. But now you know what I'm talking about. You can clearly see the part and happening. And then the rest of it, the randomness, all the sort of stray uh, hair here and there, that can be done in the modifier section. So basically you get the main block and then you tweak it afterwards. So that's how you tweak the um, haircut or create, um, in this case, sort of not side part, but middle part, if that's the, that's the word, hopefully. Um, that's how you do that. Now, before I wrap up this session, um, I still have a little bit of problem in here. When extra doesn't quite understand what to do with this bit. Now, if you really truly want to, again, you can kind of add noise and mix it up, but if you really don't know how to deal with it, then um, you can go in here and create a map. I'm gonna create a white map, call it visual region mask underscore care. Set the map resolution to 30. And I'm gonna actually start with white going to go in here, increase the brush, make sure that my stroke is not set to reflection and make sure I'm using the black color. And all I can do is to just paint this area and say, do not do that parting thingy in here. Now, it's one of those cases when I do actually use blur as well in here do something like that. Now you can save the texture here and save the region map for mask here. And that is actually going to fix it. Now, right after this point, you can go to modifiers. We are going to talk about modifiers, but then you uh, fix the randomness. Uh, you know, you bring noise, you bring cuts, so on and so forth. But that's basically a gist of how to create hair part in Maya using a region controlled and a region map. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and until the next one, talk to you guys soon.